All right, I'm excited about these. You know, the Dynaudio Core stuff I talked about in, uh, in another video is, uh, is like transcendent. This is practically amazing. Let's just say it that way. So this is the Dynaudio LYD line and you're seeing it in white and black and each speaker you can get in either color. Uh, the cabinet uh, portion of the, ca of the speakers are black no matter what, but you do have the option for the, for the, the white finish. But you know, where this comes from, you know, these, these speakers aren't made for the garage. Very clearly they're not made for the garage. These are designed for uh, low and mid volume listening in a critical environment like a studio uh, where you're mastering audio. Uh, these would be considered a budget speaker in the studio realm. It's going to be a very high end speaker in the garage realm. Um, but these are designed to be uh, smooth, accurate, and uh, let's say colorless. Meaning, uh, and this is what I love about Dyn Audio speakers so much they're going to produce what the original master sounds like without any extra fluff, which is my favorite. One of the things I hate most is when you get in a car, you get in any rental car you ever go, you, you or borrow your buddy's car, the bass and treble are always maxed out. Most people are looking for color. Um, I don't want that. I want it to sound like it was intended to sound, and that's what's so magical about these. So the line includes, uh, there's an actual, there's an extra speaker in here, the LYD7 that I'm not going to carry. It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but you have the entry level babies. Uh, for a garage, I don't know that these are going to be the one, um, but for your desk, these are freaking incredible. And we'll be talking about that in the future, how you set these up uh, at your desk. Uh, but the LYD5 includes a five inch woofer. Uh, all of the line uh, includes a MSP driver, which is, I always forget this, magnesium silicate polycarbonate, MSP. It's, it's a special plastic that sounds freaking ace. I love how these things sound. So uh, the five inch version includes a 50 watt class D amplifier, 50 watt for the tweeter and 50 watt for the, for the bass driver. And one of the things that all of the, all the Dyn Audio share, and let's just show you on the big speaker here how this works, uh, but they all share the same crossover architecture. And so you have one, two, three, four switches. Uh, one of them makes a lot of sense. It's either wall or free. Uh, and so if I was going to put it like tuck it in the corner of my cabinet here, like you would in your garage, and you would put it, you know, put the switch to free if you had some space. Like if you had it here on this countertop out in the room, you would use the free uh, switch, which will adjust the crossover accordingly, uh, adjust the, the output of the speaker. The other thing that I love about these and I run these in dark, uh, but you have your um, you have your bright neutral dark filter. I run all of the Dynaudio speakers dark, uh, and what that does is it rolls off. It takes a dB and a half off the top end and adds it to the bottom end, uh, and so it shifts. It tilts the filter toward the low end, which takes a little bit of edge off uh, off the high frequencies. Now. One of the reasons why I think this is such a great speaker for the garage is because of the tweeters that Dynaudio uses. Uh, this is the LYD tweeter. Um, they don't provide specifications. Uh, they don't provide you much information on what's the difference between a LYD tweeter and a Special 40 tweeter and a, a Serotar, Serotar tweeter in the Evoke or the Isotars that they put and there's Isotar 2s and Isotar 2Is. Um, they don't provide a lot of specifications on them, but they all have the same sound signature. All the way from the lowest end speaker, which would be the Evoke, all the way up to a Confidence. You're getting that same Danish sound, that same smooth, clean sound uh, on all of them. And the magic in your garage is that the garage is a really, really bright sounding environment. It's really not a great place for good speakers. And so I think if you take a smooth, subdued, 
turn the speaker to dark, so tilt the sound toward uh, toward lower frequencies and remove some of the high frequency you know, shrillness that you would get from an aluminum or titanium or some other dome tweeter uh, or a ribbon tweeter and yeah, I think you have a match made in heaven. So we have a bright environment and a dark smooth sounding speaker and you get you get such such a great combination. And so we take the silk dome tweeter combine it with our tilt filter that we tilt toward uh, toward low frequencies and you end up with a freaking amazing combination. And then uh, you also have a bass uh, adjustment. The other magic, uh, again, these are near field to mid field monitors designed for you to be sitting, like if I was sitting in a console, so this is my console, I may have the speakers you know, three to five feet from my ears, which can be rather fatiguing. Uh, and so that fatigue you, you, you get, and if you're mastering audio in a studio environment, you may be sitting there for 10 hours. Uh, and so it doesn't make a lot of sense to be, you know, your ears tend to, tend to wear out. Your ears tend to fatigue even quicker than your eyes do. Uh, and so you, a lot of times when you're mastering audio, you would run and listen to the speakers at low volume. And one of the signatures to LYD and Core and really any Dynaudio speaker is the lack of fatiguing sound that they create. Uh, and so with these, the way it's, the way it's, they, they, they adjust the crossover, adjust the fil filter of the DSP, I guess you should say, and you do it via this knob, is if, if you're in the garage, we're probably going to want to, um, to, to run it at, you know, minus 10. Um, I generally run it flat. Um, but because these are so linear and so smooth and really designed for listening in a near field environment, um, when you start to play, if you find yourself listening to higher, the upper registries of the output of these, um, you're going to want to shift it. Uh, you're going to want to shift some of the bass away. So you're going to want to shift or tilt or adjust the DSP um, so that you're not you know, bottoming out the woofer all the time. Uh, but the beauty of these is if you're in the garage and you're not just, you don't want to disturb everybody in the house and you're listening to low, low to moderate volume, these sound just as good at low, low volume as they do at high volume. And you do have some adjustability here. Uh, and then the final adjustment, which you're not going to mess with much, you'll, you'll, you'll just hook it up, hook up your, um, whatever your device is. For me, I'm using a uh, uh, like a Blue Sound node in order to power these. Uh, I'm going to run these and you know do 24 bit and I, um, uh, 192 kilohertz when I can. Listening to Tidal and MQA, um, you'll just adjust. And generally, the the input sensitivity you'll adjust it depending on you know where your volume's at. Really, really simple. So they all have the same the same adjustment five all the way up to the LYD 48s. So what you're seeing here, what we're going to carry LYD fives. Next up, up, step up is LYD eights. The reason that we're carrying the eights and not the sevens, uh, the sevens have a 50 watt amplifier for both the woofer and the tweeter. The LYD eights have a 80 watt amplifier for the woofer and the LYD sevens have a seven inch woofer and these have an eight. Uh, so for a few hundred bucks more, uh, it just doesn't make sense. The seven doesn't make sense to me. Uh, and the cabinet enclosure is essentially the same size, it's very, very close in size. So there's no reason to, I, I think, even carry the sevens. We could order them for you if you want. Uh, but I think in most instances, just stick with the, the eight inch MSP driver and a one inch tweeter and the, and the uh, LED eight, eight, eight version. And then my favorite, it's always the most expensive, is LED 48. Um, all the pricing on this stuff, let's not get into it on this video, um, just simply because the prices will change over time and this video will live longer than that. I mean, these speakers are really only about, Dynaudio doesn't change much. Um, these are essentially a replacement for the BM line. So even though the BM line is still current, um, they'll be, I think, discontinuing that at some point. Uh, and uh, the, so the LOAD 48s are, you know, the, the, the 48s are within the last three or three or four years they've come out. The line is about five years old, which is, which is an infant in this, in this studio monitor range or realm. So the 48s, uh, they add a three-way design. If you think about this logically, from Dynaudio's perspective, when they're tuning the speaker, when you add the three-inch uh, mid-bass driver, uh, four inch, uh, is it three or four? It's four inch. So eight inch woofer, 
four inch mid bass driver and one inch tweeter. When you add the extra mid bass driver, it takes a lot of the onus off of the woofer. So the woofer can play lower frequencies, the mid bass can pick up that, that frequency range of, you know, say two, two, two kilohertz uh, up to, you know, wherever it's gonna cross over for the tweeter. Um, but the, the, the mid bass driver here uh, does take some of the weight off of the, off of the, um, the, the woofer. I'm not sure, it's in the specifications where they cross over, I may be wrong, it may be crossing over 2K up is the tweeter, uh, and so the woofer's gonna cross over somewhere in the, you know, in the hundreds. Um, it really doesn't matter, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't get too excited about specs and amplifier outputs and stuff like that. Uh, it's, it's really about the complete package and what it sounds like. And even though you have three dip switches on this, you're gonna set it once, play with it for an hour, set it once, listen to some things, uh, and, uh, and you'll figure out what works best. But the 48s, uh, they have a 50 watt uh, amplifier for the tweeter and then they add two channels, so each woofer has an 80 watt amplifier attached to it. So you're really getting a significant amount of output. And these are, these are Class D uh, amps. Uh, so they run cool, which is important in the garage, but um, I don't think you're going to be wanting for more output. These things will, 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 will do quite well. Connectivity. Um, I'm always going to connect with XLR, uh, but these are a little different than the cores. They're higher end brother. Um, these do have an RCA input as well. So if you don't want to make that connection conversion, we sell a RCA to XLR cable, a little whip, a little, uh, a little, little short, little one and a half footer. Um, so that way we can convert to, to XLR. Uh, the difference is XLR has a third pin that helps with ground and noise issues. You can run it longer lengths uh, and it's a more stout connection it snaps in uh, versus versus an RCA connection here's your power switch and of course these speakers do need to be plugged in so these are self-powered no speaker wire uh, the way you're gonna set it up is you'll set up your 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 um, your blue sound node run XLR cables and then plug each speaker into the wall and we'll get into setup videos in a, in a separate episode so LYD, available in black and white, available in the Obsessed Garage, the Obsessed Garage store. I love the sound of a near field to mid field studio monitor, silk dome tweeter with the tilt and DSP that these things provide, I'm telling you. Uh, throw a subwoofer on, which we'll talk about in a, in a, in a separate series. Uh, add a subwoofer to your mix with a blue sound node and you've got yourself, uh, it's almost too good for the garage. Um, but I'm telling you, uh, with me, the garage is one of the most uh, uh, least critical places I'm listening to music, but one of the places I listen to music most often, uh, and oftentimes for many, many hours at a time when I'm working on a big project or detailing a car, nothing better than having such a smooth speaker for that application. So LYD is available, LYD 5s, LYD 8s, LYD 48s, LYD 7s, we can special order. I would talk you out of that, just get the LYD 8s. Really, it just comes down to budget, how much money you're willing to spend, how much do you value audio, you should always buy the 48s first uh, and, uh, and then work from there. We do have the brackets for these as well if you wanted to mount them on the wall, but hit up my guys, support at obsessedgarage.com if you have more questions. You can always hit me up, Matt, at obsessedgarage.com if you ever want to talk audio uh, and we can help you get, get a really amazing experience in the garage uh, that isn't supposed to be a good place for audio. I think we can set it up and make it work extremely well for you and I think you'll be really pleased. Thanks for your support. Stay tuned for more crazy. More speakers, more audio solutions coming, but these are a really solid candidate for anybody who's willing to spend a few bucks in their garage. See you soon.